political turmoil, religious unrest, distrust in the government, riots, protests, civil conflict, sickness, and disease. Does this sound familiar? These are not headlines of 2021, but of the first century when Jesus was born. It had been four centuries since the Jews had heard a word from God. They were living under the oppression of the Romans, and they were weary. Are you weary this year? Well, it's perfectly acceptable. It is a perfectly acceptable place to approach Advent. Advent exists to remind us that while darkness surrounds us and troubles exist, the hope of Christmas isn't far away. Just like the weary Jews of Jesus' day who hoped for the promised Messiah, we look to God's Word for hope. Hope that will overcome our weariness and cause us to rejoice in the gift of God's Son. Hear these words of hope. The Lord Himself will give you a sign. Look, the virgin will conceive a child. She will give birth to a son, and you will call him Emmanuel, which means God with us. Isaiah 7, 14. For a child is born to us, a son is given to us. The government will rest upon his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Almighty God, Everlasting Father, and the Prince of Peace. His government and its peace will never end. He will rule with fairness and justice from the throne of his ancestor David for all eternity. Isaiah 9, 6, and 7. I bring you good news that will bring great joy to all people. The Savior, yes, the Messiah, the Lord, has been born today in Bethlehem, the city of David. Luke 2, 1. So lift your spirit, weary Christians, and listen. The hope of all the world is born, and our sins have been forgiven. Listen to this Advent prayer for you. May God the Father and our Lord Jesus Christ give you grace and peace. Jesus gave his life for our sins, just as God our Father had planned, in order to rescue us from this evil world in which we live. All glory to God forever and ever. Amen. Galatians 1, 3-5